Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. C and we're here to rock out a couple more candle reviews. They will be from Goose Creek. So we're going to start off with some strawberry cheesecake. Now, I really think that sometime we should do like a candle chat because I would love to just chat about candles in general because I always wonder like what people want for scents in their house. Like when, like you see all those candles I have, right? But some of them, I'm like, ooh, strawberry cheesecake. I absolutely love strawberry cheesecake. Like, I could devour a strawberry cheesecake. But do I really want my house to smell like a strawberry cheesecake? I don't know. That's what the my question is to people. Like, when you buy a candle, is it just because you're like, ooh, I love strawberry cheesecake, so let's give it a try? Or is it like, I don't know, like I do love the smell? Or I don't know. It's just interesting to know what people... Kind of what how they pick their candles so i'm just curious to know i guess but back to strawberry cheesecake the set notes on this is pink strawberry cheesecake vanilla bean and sugar i'll be honest with you i actually got some really mixed review on this one it was not like that it stunk or anything i wouldn't say it's a bad candle would i buy it again no no i would not buy this candle again because the scent notes um to me are very deceiving like I mean, strawberry, cheesecake, vanilla bean. So you think that would smell good, but it's, I'll be honest, to me, it smells more like a warm, like kind of graham crackery vanilla. And then with the, a weird strawberry note. So it's just a weird mixture in my opinion. Was it bad? No, but was it something, I mean, I, you would not have came in my house and be like, oh my God, it smells like strawberry cheesecake in here. No. You would have been like, uh, what do you got burning? Like, uh, I smell it, but, and I will say it is very strong. So I had it burning in my office because I, on cold, I didn't think that it was going to be very strong. And also on cold to note, you do pick up a lot more of the strawberry note on cold, but once it's burning, it just poof, kind of disappears and fades into that must be the vanilla bean. But I definitely pick up like a graham crackery mixture in there so I don't know that's just my food for thought on it but travel wise on this one it was overpowering in my office like that was a I had to move it because it was way too much it's almost like I could taste it it was so strong so I ended up moving it downstairs into kind of my open area there and it traveled throughout so it is definitely a, a strong candle so if you're looking for a strong candle but set notes wise I would say it's more like a vanilla beanie uh, graham cracker with a hint of like a strawberry of some kind or berry note of some kind is what I would say this candle smells like. Um, but it will travel. So I would give it on a traveling scale, probably about a six because it did really well. It didn't come when I took it downstairs, it did travel throughout downstairs, but it did not come upstairs. So it just kind of faded off, I guess. I don't know where it goes. You know, it's kind of weird. It's so strong, but then all of a sudden it goes away I don't know but anyways so if you I mean the jar on it's kind of meh so it's nothing too fancy either I don't know I'm just I'm doing these reviews based on my opinion obviously other people might have their opinion like maybe they they like this smell I'm just more of a I want it to smell good in my home and I want people to know like oh my god what is that candle I absolutely love it and I just don't think you're gonna get that from this candle this is just and I wouldn't even call it really a foodie candle. I know I said graham cracker and the vanilla bean, but it's just so awkwardly noted. So it's just not one of those candles that you're going to be like, ooh, I know what that is. Like, that's amazing. Like, or where is that candle coming from? Because it smells amazing. <clears throat> no, you're not going to get it from this one. Like I said, I wouldn't buy it again, but on a scale of one to 10 of how good I liked it, I would put it at a three. So if it's not over a five, I ain't getting another one. So anyways, that is, let me get a little closer there, the strawberry cheesecake cupcake candle. Uh, like I said, uh, I would give it a three. So I guess I will come back with a few more. Got some goody ones, some ones that I thought were really good and I'm super excited about. And then another one that I was like, meh, not my cup of tea, but we'll see. Anyways, till next time. Bye.